This next position is going to go through a pressing motion. Just like the other video I talked about in the row, I like getting into a lunge or on one knee position. So I have my hips and a little bit of a stretch. And I also added a little component of some balance or instability. Um, so with this one, it's going to be the opposite of what the row was. If I have my right leg in front, I'm going to be using my left hand. So opposing um, positions for my leg and hand. So I'm going to get into a position where I start off with a little bit of tension. And I'm going to get my feet as far apart as comfortable. So if I was just starting at this, maybe I would just start here with a staggered stance. Um, and then I can come through this press to where one hand starts in front, that hand comes back as my other hand reaches forward. And you'll see same idea as I press. I don't just stop here. I do get a little bit of a reach of my shoulder blade while keeping it down. So you'll notice my thumb stays up. I want to make sure I don't turn to that palm down to where my shoulder starts to raise up. And then same thing as I come back. I just want to come back to where this elbow is around my trunk not all the way back to where I feel like my shoulder starts to tip forward. So with this row, I like to start with my other hand in front, my hands pass each other as this hand reaches, and I do get a little bit of a forward lean to my trunk, which engages my stomach a little bit. And then to make this a little more challenging, the more I increase the distance between my feet, the more this is now taxing for my legs too. So same idea, reaching into that press, and rotating back. And then the other option, if I want to do a little less work in my legs, would be to come down to one knee. Okay. Same thing, there is a little bit of a stability balance component. If this was too hard, I could even make my base of support a little bit wider. But I like this because it does put a stretch on my hip flexor while I'm working my upper body. So this reach and come back slow. Just to see what it looks like from the other side. Same position with my opposite hand. You can curl your back toe or leave it flat. So the big thing is here, I start with my hands at opposite positions. My hand starts to reach as they pass each other as I reach forward. Coming back, I ensure that as this arm comes back, I don't start to let my lower back arch, which is something you'll commonly see when someone's doing a press and they're getting tired. So this whole time I'm trying to make sure my lower back stays pretty neutral. Stuff where it's going to be more threatened is going to be when this arm starts coming back behind me, my back's going to want to arch and I'm going to have to keep a little tension in my stomach. So as I start to initiate this press, the first thing that I do really is tense my stomach a little bit. So when I go to push this arm forward, I create this stable base. So this is tense and then as I come forward, my body just follows my hand. Coming back, same thing. I keep this control here so I don't just let my back start to open up. So 10 to 20 reps, just like everything else. Um, looking to find some fatigue as you get towards that 10 to 15 to 20. If that becomes easy, you're gonna need a little more resistance.